Nicholas Long is suing his former friend, Raymond Sanchez, for missing belongings, including a clarinet. Mr. Long. Yes. What I read is you were moving out of your apartment mm -hmm. and you were moving in with your partner. Yes. Mr. Sanchez was a longtime friend of yours. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Mr. Sanchez, you were in between residences. That is correct. So you arranged with Mr. Sanchez that he could, during the period of the move, stay in your apartment, help you out mm -hmm. organizing things. No, I, he basically helped me move out. It wasn't necessarily help organize anything. Now, how large an apartment was it? It was basically a one bedroom, one bath, duplex. And Mr. Sanchez took up residence in the duplex on what date? Um, October. I don't know the exact date. It was October of last year. Beginning of October? Middle of October? Middle, middle. And you were moving out November 1st? I was already out. I just had my stuff, my belongings, sell the old place. I was already out by then. Okay, so you were living in yeah. your new residence. Yes. But your furniture, your property remained um, in the duplex. Yes, I had to wait to go to U-Haul. And so Mr. Sanchez was supposed to help you move. Mm -hmm. How many weeks did he stay in the apartment? Um, I'm not quite sure. You don't have well, to ask him. I mean, I, what do you want me to do? I can't do. Th I can't <laughs> several, make a judgment several, several, unless several, I have, unless I have facts. I can't make a judgment. Several weeks, do you Your understand? Honor. Several weeks, Your Honor. I mean, if it's last year, October of last year, we're talking about a long time ago. That's why we like to bring actions immediately, yes. not weeks later, months later, years later. That's why when things are fresh in our mind, because if you Definitely. don't have the facts, sir, I can't make a judgment. Do we understand each definitely, other? Definitely, Your Honor. And don't make up facts because that would be a big mistake for you. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely, Your Honor. Um, well, in regards to that, I have basically postponed charging because Randy had said he was going to help me find my belongings. What belongings, Mr. Sanchez, did you say you would help him find? Well, I was told that a... No, no. What? What? belongings did you tell him that you would help him find? A clarinet. Clarinet. And uh, some missing underwear and swim trunks. Swim trunks, underwear, and a clarinet. That's correct. That's what... There's no underwear, Your Honor, just two swim trunks. I don't care about the swim trunks. <laughs> okay. Let's talk then about the clarinet. You said you would help him find the clarinet. Correct. Which is what we are disputing here today. Pretty much. clarinet. Mm -hmm. Whose clarinet was it? My clarinet. Where did you get it from? Um, I got, my grandmother got it for me in high school because I decided to take up, I started off on tenor sax. High school so I, clarinet. Yeah. Okay. And where did you think, Mr. Sanchez, that the clarinet was? I have no idea. I thought it was at his mother's house. Okay. If you said you would help him find it, that suggests to me that you knew somebody who might have it. My response was to maybe ask the individuals that were helping me move and clean if either of them had seen it or maybe had picked it up and moved it somewhere. So that was the purpose of assisting and helping to find it. He doesn't have your clarinet. He doesn't? No. What do you want me to do? I mean, I had a clarinet. I just don't now know what Now you don't to... have it anymore. I know, but I had one when I moved to that place. I play I every once He doesn't know where it is. Well, I'm guessing because he had a friend of his helping him move his stuff out. And I remember like when I moved to, went to go move my stuff out, it smelled like pot. And like when I looked in the kitchen sink, there's pot leaves there. And then he said his friend was bipolar and possibly his friend that had yeah. stolen this stuff. So I if asked him went, that. If you went to the police and told them this story, they would, you know what they would tell you? Huh. There's nothing we can do to help you. I don't care what you smelled or what you think. He doesn't have your clarinet. He didn't take it. You didn't take his clarinet, did you? No, ma'am. Good. Okay. Well, We're done. Thank you.